Welcome back to the online zone right here on Card Player TV. There are just two months remaining in the online player of the year race, so we decided to dedicate an entire episode to breaking down the top 10 contenders. Let's take a look at the standings. As you may remember, three months ago, Taylor Ambiguosity Par was atop the standings. Then, a two month dry spell saw him plummet, and Par was suddenly in danger of falling out of the top 10 altogether. Two weeks ago, however, he made a dramatic comeback rattling off three straight wins to earn 1,560 combined OPOY points and put himself back into first place overall. In a three-day stretch in late October, the 21-year-old pro from California won the Poker Stars nightly hundred grand twice and then topped it off by taking down the Sunday 500. All told, Parr has now earned nearly $1 million this year online. After temporarily being passed by Chris Getting Days Oliver, KC Big Dog Pocket 5's Jarzebek reclaimed the second place spot by final tabling the $150,000 guaranteed on Absolute Poker. He and Oliver now sit just 14 points apart. Amazingly, in 2009, only three players were able to crack the 9,000 point mark. They were Steve G. Borrow 780 Gross, David Doc Sands, and Thayer Rasmussen. This year, three players have already done so despite almost two months remaining in the race. Only one player, Gross, has ever earned more than 10,000 points. But this year, there may be several who accomplished this feat. Aditya Intervention Argoal, an unknown Canadian player Kerbinator, round out the top five, but they have managed to put some distance between themselves and the rest of the top ten. Raj Badcard's AA Vora currently sits in sixth place, but he has had arguably the best overall year of any online player, having won more money than anybody else in the top 10. Vora has earned 1.2 million online in 2010, which is good for fourth place overall behind PokerStars WCOOP main event winner Tyson Potter Poker Marks, WCOOP main event runner-up Joey Sweet Pea, and Scoop main event champion Ryan Totag U Fair. The former tennis pro's biggest score this year was for 430000 for winning the two-day F-Tops event. The rest of his earnings have come from winning a Scoop event, finishing runner-up in a W Coop event, and then winning the Sunday 500. Last year's OPOI champion Steve G. Burrow 780 Gross hasn't been putting in nearly the volume that allowed him to win it in 2009. But somehow his good finishes have kept him in the hunt in 7th place until now. Unlike 2009, Gross has only had one six-figure score on his resume this year. The rest of his winnings have come the hard way, on four-figure and small five-figure caches. In his OPOI career, Gross has earned over $2.9 million, which is second overall to Yevgeny Jovial Gent Timoshenko, who has won $3.1 million. To date, 157 players have earned over $1 million in OPOI qualifying events. The rest of the top 10 is represented by unknown Mr. Allen 2950 in 8th place, Chris CDBR 3799 Dombrowski 9th place, and Mark Dipthrong Herm in 10th. There are still plenty of opportunities over the next two months for players to make a run at the title, and it all starts with the upcoming Full Tilt Online Poker Series, better known as the F-Tops, and the Poker Stars Regional Championship of Online Poker, the ARCOOP. Be sure to check out the cardplayer.com homepage for more OPOI updates as we head into the final stretch. Until next time, thanks for watching the Online Zone right here on Card Player TV.